we're getting a thumbs up, so audio must be good. Okay, so as I was saying, welcome to The Daily Dig every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1.30 p.m. right here on Facebook Live, broadcasting to you from Diggerland. Today's vehicle is the Skid Steer, the 135 robot made by JCB. Now, Skid Steer is an amazing compact vehicle. It could do a variety of things, and it is such a workhorse uh, with the power that it has. Now, this, like all other machines, is hydraulically controlled. We have Ben, our operator, always with us. Hi, Ben. Who is operating the Skid Steer today. Now, Skid Steer is a very simple vehicle to operate. That's the genius to the design of the ride. There's just one joystick needed for driving the vehicle around. On some machines that are similar, you'll have either two foot pedals or two hand pedals, and those are used to control the left side and right side. But this machine has been made with one joystick. It's as easy to use as a video game. Forwards, forward, left is left, right is right, and backwards is backwards. Also, this vehicle is a lot faster than some of the other vehicles that we've seen so far, um, especially some of the track vehicles and bigger vehicles. It's great for getting around a construction site. Now, skid steers can do a variety of things. Right now, we have a bucket attached. That bucket would be great for pushing dirt around, picking up rocks, and moving items around. The bucket's also great for maybe moving snow or other items that might be on the ground. There's other great attachments as well. We can have forks if you want to use it like a forklift for moving pallets and skids and things around, plus many other great attachments. So, let's watch Ben drive the skid steer through the courtyard. He's gonna turn up the speed. He's gonna head all the way down to the one side of Diggerland and back. Then we're gonna go out into the course and see some of the things we can do. So Ben, turn up the speed. Let's see you head down to the munch box and back. You hear him throttling up. Now he's ready to go full speed. Last week's episode, you saw our giant excavator and our giant dozer. Those, I could walk faster than. They're made for power, not for speed. You can see Ben has already made it to the one end of Diggerland and it's coming back already. This machine moves close to 7.5 miles per hour, so it's great for zipping around a construction site. With those tires, he can work on a variety of surfaces. Right now we're on asphalt, but he can also just as easily work on stones, concrete, in the dirt, and lots of other places as well. That was fast, Ben. You made it back quick. All right, why don't you head on into the course and we'll talk about the machine. Now, the great thing about the skid steer, as I was saying, is its ease of use. With Ben's left hand and that joystick, that is what makes him go forward and backwards. Ben, give us a quick demonstration. Let's see you go back a little bit. See it just slightly by touching the joystick. Perfect. Now it's touch sensitive, so if he used to jerk it forward, he would lurch forward. If he eases forward nice and slow, the machine responds in kind and will come forward nice and slowly. Also, as he's driving forward, he can turn his joystick left and right. That's how he's able to navigate those turns and make some really great turns. Also, 
his right hand. He has another joystick. That controls his bucket. Let's see you bring your bucket up all the way, Ben. So with his right joystick, by pulling backwards, he can bring a bucket up pretty high if he had to dump it to a truck or anything. Look at that extension. Look how high that goes. That is amazing. It's about 12 feet off the ground right now for really high and hard to reach applications. Now, with using that same joystick going left to right, he can actually change the angle of the bucket if he had to dump some stones or dirt stone or some other materials. Let's see you move your bucket around, Ben. Now the hydraulics are pushing the cylinder out and that's bringing that bucket downward. If that was full of rocks right now, he would just dump that entire load into the truck or whatever application he's using. Excellent, Ben, thank you. Why don't you go ahead and bring your bucket down a little bit? As you can see, on his both sides, he has four tires that are controlling this machine. Now, unlike a car where you turn your steering wheel and your front tires turn and you follow direction, every one of these tires has its own motor and is moving independently. This allows Ben to make really tight turns. So he can tell his front tire to be going forward while his uh, rear tire can be going backwards to allow a nice 360 spin right in place if he had to turn around real quick or if he had to turn 180 and dump a load after picking it up. In a really tight spot, he could do that. It's a really, really neat machine with the, uh, its range of motion and how tight he can be. So Ben, why don't you come forward a little bit? All right, so Ben's bringing his bucket up. on the ground, which we'll have to scrub later off, but by staying in one spot, he was able to do a complete 360 degree turn. This would be great if he just picked up a load of rocks and had to dump them right behind him. This machine works excellent in tight spaces. It is truly an incredible machine. Now, I think uh, one of the best things to do is to take a look around this machine. So come on with me. Let's take a look. So we have his tires and his door. This is one of the nice features. Ben, why don't you go ahead and uh, you know what, leave your door closed because we'll turn the machine off. The machine has a bunch of safety features, so if he opens the door, the machine's going to stop. But they really figured out how to make this a nice side-loading machine. His joystick on the left side comes up, and he can climb right in. A lot of times on these machines, you have to climb in through the window in the front. But there'll be no climbing for Ben. He can easily step in. Let's have a look around back. We got working taillights and rear lights. We also have his engine compartment. You can see the various filters, his belts, his coolant, and all the hydraulics. There are sight gauges for checking the machine out. And we also have all our hydraulic hoses. These are all round to the front. That's what's going to his front bucket for him to bring the arm up and down and to tilt the bucket forward and backwards. We have our fueling on the side as well. You see, we just have one arm. Sometimes some other machines that are similar to this will have an arm on both sides um, to pick up the bucket. But this way, by having this one strong arm on this side, he has that door that we were just looking at that he can climb in nice and easily. So we're gonna try something a little different right now. We're gonna hand the camera over to Ben and give you guys a point of view perspective on what it's like to drive the skids here. So because he has his left hand to steer with, with his right hand, he can hold the camera and show you what it's like on this course.
from Ben's perspective. You got to actually go in the machine with him and drive around in this skid steer. Now, I think we have a question or two coming in. So let me check this out, let's see. So Oliver, age four, wants to know, do we have any other attachments for the skid steers? So here at Diggerland, we have just the, we have a forklift attachment, we have the bucket attachment, and if you look at some of the other machines, like the machine over here, we actually, you can see in the background there, we have two giant tires. It's a bumper attachment. Now, the reason why we have that is we are actually using these skid steers as a ride here at Diggerland, where you could actually drive around these skid steers. Like I said, real easy usage of the control. Using one joystick, you can drive around. So we have the bumpers in the front. Now, these aren't bumper cars. We don't actually let them bump each other. They're just there as a safety precaution. But yes, one of our attachments is the bumpers on the front for when we're operating as rides. Oliver, great, great question. Does anyone else have any questions? Feel free to ask and I'll be happy to answer them. Let me see what else we got here. All right, um, I'm having a little trouble seeing the questions, so let me call my producer out here and he'll be able to read some questions to me. Um, in the meantime, we can watch Ben drive this skid steer around the course some more. So another question just came through. Logan wants to know, how much does a skid steer weigh? Well, Logan, that's a great question. One I actually anticipated this time. This skid steer weighs 6,067 pounds. That's a lot, it's pretty heavy, but it has to be. It's made of a lot of uh, hard steel in order to perform the tasks that it does. It needs to be strong to get the job done while still maintaining a compact frame. So again, feel free to ask questions in the comment below and we'll do our best to answer them during the video. And if there's any that we miss, we'll be sure to answer them later on the replay. And make sure you tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the Daily Dig, Diggerland's educational series. Another question? Can I see it? So Anthony, who's five years old, you wanna know how fast the skid steer goes? Well, we keep the speed adjusted really low here when it's a ride, so they're only going about a mile per hour. But earlier in the video, I don't know if you got to see that, and hopefully you could see it on the replay, we turned the speed up all the way, and Ben was going seven and a half miles per hour. Now, that's not anywhere near as fast as your car, but for a construction vehicle, 7.5 miles per hour is very, very fast, when most construction vehicles only move about one mile per hour. So again, keep the questions coming. Anyone else has any questions or just wants to say hi? Uh, feel free to comment and we'll do our best to get to the comments during this video. No more questions? Okay, so uh, we're going to wait and see if any more questions come by, but in the meantime, we can watch Ben. He's going to turn up the speed um, to show you again how fast the machine can go. He's going to go a little bit slower around the turns, but Ben, why don't you head all the way back to the station? Watch those tires move. So they're all moving at different speeds. Ben to make these turns. And as we wait for Ben to go around his course again, ask any questions in the comment below about the skid steer, the 135 JCB machine. Look at him move. He's moving very quickly, but look how easily he navigates these turns. Just like that, he's made a complete circuit of the course and made his way all the way back to the station. Are there any more questions? No more questions? Well, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them after the video in the comments below. And as always, tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1.30 p.m. where we focus on a different piece of construction equipment and explain how it works and what we do here at Diggerland. So thank you for watching. Again, ask those comments. We love it, or ask those questions in the comments. We love answering them. Oh, Got another question came through, okay. So, can I see your question? Because I'm having a hard time with it. Okay, so the question is, does this one have a counterweight? 
This particular machine, no, it does not have an additional counterweight. It is engineered. Uh, you'll notice the back has a lot of reinforced steel. Uh, that is made to counteract the uh, weight pickup on the front. For the application we're using here, we do not have to add any additional counterweights, but I'm sure that they have some attaches out there that would require them. Okay, great. So again, we'd like to thank Ben, our operator. Thanks, Ben. We'd like to thank all of you for watching. Join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1.30 p.m. for the Daily Dig. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.